Welcome to Learning Byte, short of bites of information you get to apply immediately. We're looking at V for verify in the drive sales process, and we're looking again at the actual sales process when you're with somebody. We talked last week about verifying that you've heard them, verifying to make sure that they feel heard and understood. What I want to talk about today is around making sure that it is safe for them to talk back to you. So if you say, if I've heard you correctly, what you want is, or this is what's important to you, or what you're trying to achieve is, they need to be able to turn back to you and go, ah, oh, no, you've missed it. So a really important thing is to encourage people to let you know if they don't understand or to ask questions. Many of you who have trained with me will know that I always start my training sessions saying it's totally, utterly and completely impossible to ask a dumb question. You don't know what you don't know. And so inviting people to ask questions as you go along, watching body language, if you're selling face to face or over Zoom, watching body language, when you verify back to somebody, making sure that they're, they're giving you the nods, making sure that they feel like they're part of you as they go forward. When people agree, yes, you've heard me, yes, you've understood, what that allows them to do is to then move forward in the sales process. They've agreed to that part of the discussion. So they're now ready to move on to the next part of the discussion. So do make sure that you check in with them, that you give them the opportunity to speak back to you if they haven't heard, uh, or if they're not clear, or if they don't think you've quite got it. Don't take offense. Make sure that you go, thank you for telling me. Really appreciate that. And then once again, verify back to them. Great, so to correct that, what I heard you say is this. And then give them the opportunity. When you finish talking to them, ask them, is there anything else? Have I missed anything? What that does is it gives them the opportunity to then bring in anything that you might not have asked or something that you might not have quite highlighted or something that they didn't feel heard on. So make sure that in your sales process, you're in effect finishing that part of the journey and moving on to the next one with your customer still in the passenger seat next to you, feeling comfortable, feeling confident, knowing that you are taking them where they want to go to and they'll give them a lot of confidence, which will help you to get closer towards your close. Here's to your success. If any of this resonated with you and you'd like some help with it, do feel free to get in touch. Drop me an email at mike at thinkright.co.nz or 0272 987 523 or our website www.thinkright.co.nz.